Welcome back guys. We are now in the Postman environment. So you can see I have already have some of the, the calls that I made previously. I'm going to close them and I'll create a new collection. Let me just do a blank collection and uh, what I'll do, let me just give it a name. Uh, yeah, this will call ventilation. So Postman is really good to, to interact with the with the APIs. And so if you want to test the, the get and post request of the APIs, you can make these calls using the Postman. You don't need to go straight into the programming environment or you know uh, build the capabilities in any language. In order to just test the capability, you can test uh, within the Postman. Uh, just make sure that the API is working. And once it's uh, you fix all the rough edges or fix any issue if you are encountering, uh, then you can move uh, in, uh, the uh, the API URL or you know the call into into your code, which is uh, much easier instead of you know troubleshooting directly within within the coding environment. But still have the opportunity if you want to go straight into your dev environment, don't want to use it. Uh, still up to you. Uh, it's a personal choice, but I would uh, rather prefer to to test the API call within the Postman. And once everything is working, it's much easier to to move it into into the dev environment so now let's first create the uh, the post request because in order to get the jwt token we need to make a post request to our uh, uh, cognito service and uh, to do that we need a couple of uh, things first obviously we will just going we'll create the uh, the new call add a request so it's in here let me just close that and it's not going to be a get request uh i'm going to convert into post uh and let me just save it so what i'm going to call it that okay uh i'm get jwt token it's easy now the 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 million dollar question is which what's going to be the uh the id or the url that we need to call to to get the token so you can see we already have a couple of urls in 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 here but let me quickly show you which uh url that you need uh to 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 get this this token and I'm going to paste that URL in the in the uh, the comment or uh, in the description of of uh, uh, this video uh, because you need to keep that URL in its format and then you can change it based on your own requirement uh, because this URL is a bit tricky. Uh, give me uh, uh, some uh, I would say challenge while I was working on that initially, uh, but once you build it, it's going to be pretty easy. So let me just paste it and you can see it has the the uh, uh, the URL uh, of our Cognito uh, uh, domain that we have configured while we are uh, working on the Cognito side. Uh, so I, I think uh, if I remember, we called it Cognito domain URL. So let me just, let me just hide that. Uh, just bear with me. Yeah. So now I'm back into the Cognito environment and let me show you where you can copy that URL. Uh, I believe we are in the, yeah, we are in the right area. And if I just do the user pool, integration, Cognito domain. So you can see we have the Cognito domain. Let me just copy that Cognito domain first. Uh, and let me paste it in here. Just to explain how you can construct that URL for, for the post request, uh, what I'll do, I'll copy that URL on as well. So you can see uh, the the first part is part of the Cognito domain that we have copied from from the uh, from the uh, uh, Cognito uh, 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 app integration part where we have that domain section. The URL is sitting in in here. But that URL is not sufficient. We need to embed it with some additional information, which I'm going to now build uh, in front of you so you can remember. That's why I'm saying that we need some additional information as part of this URL. Uh, and you have to follow that. Otherwise, there are other ways as well. If you don't want to follow the OAuth token pattern, uh, there are other ways. Uh, you can try those. But uh, last time when I was working, uh, it's a bit hard to to you know to 
get the other other uh, types working. So that's why I think that that's the most simplest one. And that's why I stick with this approach. So OAuth token, and then if you remember, we configured the grant type uh, is equal to client credential. If you uh, need a refresher, uh, just visit the previous video. I'm gonna link, uh, put the link in the description for the previous video that will show you where we've configured the client credential and client ID. And you can see we are not passing the client secret because in order to secure the, the, uh, the call, we are just passing the client ID. And if you remember, we configured the scope. So we need, uh, we need to send the scope as well. So what I'll do, let me just copy that part because scope, I'll just copy back from, from the Cognito. Now, let me see which one I can replace. So client I do have, I just copied it. So you can see, uh, I can replace the, the client ID is fine just make sure you, you have the end sign at, uh, at the end because that will separate the parameter uh don't override that otherwise it will in it will invalidate the the url now we need second thing we need the scope so if i go back and let me copy the scope from the cognito because it's a while uh and i forgot the scope i think scope was here it, one custom scope so yeah it's it's in here uh, and my scope generally refer to the resource server name slash the, the scope name. So you can see what scope is going to be. Uh, stat calculation, let me just copy that. And uh, it start with the resource server name. So if I just, you know, minimize that, and if I cancel it, so I need to copy the resource server name, which is this. And let me jump back. So that's the scope, the resource server name and, and as well as the scope uh, name that we have configured as part of the, uh, uh, the, the uh, client uh, app configuration. So let me put that as part of the, the URL. Now our URL is completed. Uh, let's copy that URL back into the post request. And you can see now we have the client credential, we have the client ID and scope. Now, the next step we need to, obviously we need to put some authorization uh, uh, information, which is the client ID and client secret. So let me just go and I think what I can do, hmm, uh not pure token i think it's going to be basic authentication and my username is uh, will be client id and password although it's not a password but you know the, the interface is standard so they are considering secret as password and i think we are good to go so let's save it and let me hit Send. Okay, let's see where it goes. Okay, could not resolve host. Make sure the domain is publicly accessible. Select a different target. All right, so let me see what, what where it has the error. I think my domain is accessible. Okay, let's see. So we do have, that's one thing, it's, it's really challenge to get it working uh, sometimes, but uh, fortunately, because I've already done it, so let me see. Ah, I think I know where it went wrong. There is another thing which I always forget. We need to add the content types as well. So in the header, uh, we need to content type. And content type is going to be. So if you won't mention the content type, it's not going to give you the the digital token. Uh, just make sure we need uh, application slash x. 
triple W form uh, URL encoded as a content type. So let's see. Okay, there must be some problem with the host name. So let's see where it is. Oh, I think for somehow I over. Uh, so that's the problem. I forgot to add the OAuth. That's why it's not taking. Yeah, so I think now the URL is correct. Uh, by the way, OAuth2 is the, the standard protocol that we are using to, to for the JWT. There is a full paper uh, on the OAuth2, uh, which obviously uh, allow us to, to uh, use the JWT-based authentication for, for, uh, for our APIs or mobile application. Very good uh, uh, article. If you uh, have interest, you can go and you can read it. I'll put that link as well. I was actually looking at it while uh, I was working for the first time on on the on the jwt uh yeah i think now it should work uh cognito auth 2 and i think now i know why it was actually because i think it messed up in in here you can see uh instead of yeah that that was the problem when i copy paste i think for somehow it just mess up with with the auth 2 which I believe I fixed now. Let me take out that OR2. So that, that's the, 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 the correct URL. Uh, let me now send it. There we go. So voila, we get the JWT token and you can see uh, as a output, we have the token and always remember the JWT token start with EY and you can see it has a bunch of you know garbage uh, text that will show uh, the, the token but that garbage text, text internally has a lot of information and uh, I'm going to show you how you can read that uh, 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 that information uh, after decoding the JWT. So let me just uh, copy this guy because I'm quite interested to see what information I have. And I'm going to open jwt.io. You have multiple websites where you can go and you can paste your token and it will uh, decode and show you the information. So you can see the, the encoded uh, uh, part. It will ask you to paste your token. And as soon as you paste your token, it's going to actually uh, decode it uh, on the right hand side. Now, let me just show you uh, token uses for access. Uh, we are accessing the the uh, the API. Uh, if you look at a uh, sub is, uh, I think, the subject and I believe it's referring to the to the client ID, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yes, so you can see sub and the client ID. They both refer to, to, the, to the same concept. And then ISS, that's the issuer. So you remember the, the, the URL that we have generated initially. So that's what I was saying. So pay very close attention to, to, the, to the method, how you, can, uh, how, how you can generate that URL because that URL is going to be embedded in your token. So in that purple text, you can see all the information that we have provided or configured as part of the cognito that has been uh, encoded and embedded into into the to the jwt it, authentication time the token is valid i believe only for 30 minutes so whatever time it is 29 uh, i can see that it's going to be valid 22 29 uh, oh, that's the authentication time, expiry time. Let me quickly come. EXP means expiry time. And the expiry time is going, uh, is, uh, I can see it's the 23, which is 11. So that means 60 minutes. Uh, for 60 minutes, the token will remain active. And then afterwards, this token will be expired. So anyone try to use that token after the one hour or 60 minutes, uh, they're not going to uh, 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 they're not going to access the API using it, right? It's not going to work for them. So that's another uh, solid part of, of the JWT. So we are good. Uh, we generate the token. We have that token now. Uh, uh, 
returning based on the client ID and client secret. Now, the only thing remaining uh, to as part of this uh, solution is how we're gonna embed that token to get the uh, to get the API working. Because at the moment, if you remember, the API is sending us a message. You are unauthorized to access the API. Now we have the token in this video. We can use that token to 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 get the API working again. So in the next video, I'm gonna uh, complete that part. I'm gonna show you how you can use that token to using the Postman uh, to access the API, uh, uh, and we'll see the 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 uh, function uh, returning us the result. Uh, in this video, if you have any question, uh, go through with it the previous video, and I would say the initial three videos because that will give you a very good understanding of how the whole JWT authentication work using the the uh, the Cognito and uh, API uh, gateway. Uh, and feel free to reach out if you have any question or you need further explanation, more than happy to help. Uh, hope you like this video as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.